Hi everyone, and welcome again to another English with Joseph. Well, for those of you who take regular lessons with me, you will know that I've been focusing quite a bit recently uh, on common linking words and phrases. So that's going to be the topic of this podcast. It's going to be a long one, and we're going to talk about common linking words and phrases. Before we do that, I also want to tell you about helpful media. A question I'm asked fairly often is which media can help me best to learn English? Which media can I use the shadowing technique with? Which media generally would help me with grammar and vocabulary? These are questions that I'm asked a lot, and I want to try and answer those before we go any further. Well, I have to say, you know, when it comes to using media, there is an idea that just watching a movie somehow is going to help your English become perfect. So let me just repeat that. There is an idea that watching a movie is somehow going to make your English become perfect. That's really not the case. Okay, If you want your English to become good very quickly, you need to start working with sound. The most successful linguists in the world, the most successful people who speak more than one language, are not people who study English from books. They're people who simply go get a radio, they bring it back, and they start to listen and speak. You might think that's very simple. Well, it is very simple, but you know, think about a child. Think about a child who is maybe uh, three years old or four. I don't know how old children are when they begin to speak, but probably earlier, actually. But if you can imagine a child beginning to speak, he can't read or write. He's never been to school, okay? So he just hears and he says. That's how things get into his mind, and that's how his whole world is shaped. We, on the other hand, we want to learn something. We go and get a book, and we do it the academic way. The academic way is good, okay, for academia, just for the purpose of knowing. All right, But it's not good if you're trying to learn English to communicate, if you're trying to make yourself more fluent. So what you need to do is to switch on BBC Radio 4 or BBC Radio 5. These are our, um, our voice stations, 24-hour call-in programs. Okay, so BBC Radio 4, BBC Radio 5 or LBC, you can get them all on the internet. Forget about understanding, okay? Just get into the practice of imitating and speaking at the same time that you hear the presenters doing it, all right? This is very important. It's very important for a number of reasons. The first reason is because before you learn any words, learning how to say them will help you shape those words. The second reason why it's very important is because this is what children do. It's the most natural way of learning. You hear and then you understand. You know, recently uh, I've been reading some biographies about various people, not uh, any particularly special people, but uh, one thing they've all had in common is how quickly they could learn languages. One of the stories I was reading was about a Jewish rabbi. Now, I'm not Jewish, but this story was particularly interesting. You know, Jewish people are known for picking up information very quickly and indeed for being very intelligent. This guy, he wanted to learn uh, English, so he simply went out, bought himself a radio, and immediately started to study it immediately started to work with sounds. So he didn't study it from books. He was studying what he was hearing and trying to imitate. They say that he was one of the quickest learners ever because within a few days, 
he knew a lot. Within a few weeks, he was fluent, you know. And people are always shocked by this. Wow, this man who could cram all these words into his mind so quickly. I don't actually think he was cramming anything into his mind. I think he was just getting to know the language before he started working with it. And that's what you have to do too. Put away the books for a while. If they haven't worked for the last few years, they're not going to work now. You know the language, you know the grammar, it's what they've helped you with, but now is the time to know how to speak better. What I've just outlined is a very basic uh, technique called shadowing. And I really want you to get into that. 20 minutes a day, repeating and hearing, okay? Uh, and basically saying whatever you hear, okay? So for 20 minutes, if all you hear is ah, bah, 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 say it. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. There's only 50 sounds in English. So those same sounds are going to come up again and again and again, all right? So whatever you hear at the same speed, just say it. If it's ah, bah, 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 if that's what you think you hear, say it. The next time you hear it, it'll probably sound different. The third time you hear it, you'll probably have a better idea of what you're going to say. But don't stop it, just say it. It's very simple. And it's so simple that a lot of people just can't do it. Because they think, what's the point? What am I learning? What am I doing? Well, the point is that you're, you're, you're learning the sounds of English. That's what the point is. You know? Anyway. Moving on, so we're going to talk about the uh, most common linking words in English. So I want to take you through some of those. Now, for those of you, again, that I've been working with uh, this week in italki, uh, you probably know some of these. It's been my pet topic of the week, all right? So uh, common linking words, I have them here on my PC, okay? So I'm just going to say them, and then we'll talk about the more unusual ones. First, firstly, secondly, third, thirdly. Okay, so a student asked me this week, um, do I use first or do I use firstly or does it matter? Well, some people like to say, first, I want to talk to you about this thing. Second, I want to talk to you about that thing. So you can do that, all right? But in reality, you should be using the LY at the end. Okay, that's the correct grammatical way of introducing the thing. Firstly, secondly, thirdly. Okay, a few more words. Next, last, finally. In addition, moreover. Well, moreover means the same as in addition. I want to talk to you about shadowing. Moreover, I want to talk to you about shadowing. In addition, I want to talk to you about shadowing. So, let me give you a whole sentence. I want to talk to you about speech. In addition, I want to talk to you about shadowing. Okay. Moreover, I want to talk to you about shadowing. By the way, these linking words are words that everyone should know. Okay. So there's no excuse here for not knowing them. I really want you to learn these. All right. If you learn nothing else from this podcast or vodcast, um, I really want you to learn the importance of these words. Also, in conclusion, to summarize, normal, the first, the second, etc. One, another, okay, I want to talk to you about one thing, I want to talk to you about another thing, and an additional. These are all quite, quite straightforward, I think. We spoke about moreover, so moreover and in addition, Another thing you could say is furthermore. It means the same thing. Also, and, and as well as. Cause, for example, for, because, since. Since I'm going out tonight, or as I'm going out tonight, I need a lift home. Because I'm going out tonight, since I'm going out tonight, I need a lift home. The cause of needing a lift home is because I'm going out tonight. All right? There's a few examples you can use. Okay, so for, because, since, as. Okay. Uh, you've got um, uh, so, as a result of, or as a consequence of, therefore. Okay, the next one's quite hard. Thus, 
Thus means consequently. So I could say, for example, uh, I have no food today. Uh, thus, or consequently, I can't offer you a coffee. Okay? And hence is something similar to result from, to result from hence. The, the hence and thus are two words. Don't worry too much about them because uh, you're not really going to hear so much of them in English. To result from. Uh, due to, is another one, as a result, due to the train being cancelled. As a consequence of the train being cancelled. As a result of the train being cancelled. It's the same thing. All right. To affect. Okay. Kind of clear there to affect. Um, uh, undoubtedly is another one. Undoubtedly, which means without a doubt or indeed, you know, undoubtedly, it's another one. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, obviously, generally, okay. And another one I've been asked a lot about is admittedly. Admittedly, okay, admittedly basically just means you admit something that's happened. For example, to admit, has two meanings in English. One is to admit to university, an admission. And the other thing is, of course, to admit fault. So if I say, yeah, I ate all the cakes, I admit it. It was me, okay? That's uh, to admit. I admit. So I also could say, uh, in the passive voice, yeah, admittedly a mistake was made. All right. Okay. Comparison, uh, we have similarly, likewise, also to, as, just as, and like, just like, similar to, be similar to, the same as, not only, but also to compare to and with, and contrast, however, nevertheless, Nonetheless, still, although, even though, though, but, yet, despite, in spite of, in contrast, in comparison to, while, whereas, on the other hand, on the contrary, and but. These are all quite easy. The one other one which is a little bit difficult is namely. Namely is when you break things down into a subcategory, okay? So, for example, I have three cakes. Strawberry, lemon, and chocolate. Okay? Uh, I have many things to do today. I have to eat the cakes. I have to go to work. I have to make dinner. Okay? So, uh, it's when you break things down further. Uh, Twelve people came to visit me today, namely Andrew, John, James, Fred, Deborah, whatever. All right? Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, we're just about done. Uh, I hope that's quite clear. This is a longer clip than usual. We got up to 15 minutes, but I hope you find it useful. Um, now, many of you are asking about, uh, those of you who have lessons with me, about this. Okay, Some people are thinking that I'm sitting here drinking Chinese sake or Japanese sake, you know, the wine. It looks like a Chinese dish, doesn't it? But actually, it's not. And I can assure you it's non-alcoholic, okay? It's my thermos flask. Usually, when you, you don't usually see this part. Okay, you usually see this. Okay. Um, but it's usually uh, tea um, or coffee or some herbal thing that I'm having, okay? Uh, so a few people have asked me, what's that you're drinking? It looks like a little wine glass from China. No, it's just the top of my thermos flask. It's usually here. Right. Okay. Um, if I was drinking alcohol during our lessons, they might be a bit more enjoyable, that's for sure, or maybe a bit more insulting. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it's very interesting. A few of you have picked up on that. Uh, what is that? Uh, and the other things some people see is a hand that suddenly hands me the thermos flask during the lessons as well. That's that's another uh, that, that's another question that I'm always asked. So there's usually someone here who's assisting me, and uh, all I have to do is shout coffee. 
<laughs> and the person will appear with my thermos flask, you know. Okay, so, um, anyway, another thing I've been asked is, please, 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 can you show us your workstation where you're working from? So before I end this video clip, I will indeed show you my workstation, okay? I'm not sure if I can pause this video, or even if I can turn over the, the camera, but I will try, okay? So let me just move my chair back a little bit here, and then I can show you this, I hope. Maybe not, let me see. Mm, no, it's not going to let me. I wonder if I could turn this around then and you can see it from behind me. Let me see for a second. The best way to do this. Okay. Give me a second. Let me just turn around and then you can see it. Okay. So, here we are. Now I'm facing it so you can see it. All right. So, here as you can see is my little place. And you should be able to see my... Uh, computer there, I think. Let's see where, where do I have to put this? Yeah, there we are. So, there's some books, some postcards from around the world. There you go, my computer there as well. I think if I just move that down more. All right, so now you can see all my things. Perfect. Okay, so that's a little glimpse of my world and this clock as well which is always running slow <laughs> so pay no attention to it in lessons please i must try and get that fixed it's very confusing for everyone okay so lovely to um talk with you all and until we talk again i wish you a very very good day see you